a lot of people are not aware of uh, how near Earth astronomy really works and how all of the natural phenomenons occur mm. and how they're interlinked in some way. And I think we really need to be more aware of these things. And especially as we move into the new space age, we need to, to understand these things much better. I guess maybe there hasn't been that urgent need in the past and maybe not in the same way. I mean, if we go back in time, maybe a thousand years or 2000 years, looking at Egypt and other yeah. places, people were more in tune with nature. Yeah. You also speak about how we're not in tune to nature's rhythm. Maybe you can yeah, talk yeah. to that. So if you go to ancient history, where they have had kind of where they measured time by, by looking at the stars and by the sun, of course, and they had water clocks and that kind of stuff. They were much more tuned to both space and nature. And nature don't care about one second or one minute or one hour. Those are human constructed time units. Mm. I used to say, and I challenge everybody to, to find to prove me wrong. There are no biological process that takes one second. None. Hmm. And one minute or one hour, none. Nature responds to kind of packets of energy. And a packet of energy is a sunrise or a sunset or a day or a season or a tide or the moon. Hmm. So that is what nature responds to. We have kind of the modern man has kind of forgotten that. And we are just looking at our two times 12 hour watch, which are doing nothing else than coordinating us so that we can meet in this meeting. <laughs> and, and, and of course, coordinating us and the machines. 